everyone, it's Casey here with Zildjian, and today we have a video about the life cycle of a tick. Ticks are blood-sucking parasites that require a host animal to survive and reproduce. They tend to live in tall grass, dense brush, and wooded areas. So dogs and cats are common hosts for ticks. So are people. Ticks can't fly or jump, so they use their two front legs to quest for a host. These legs have receptors that can detect carbon dioxide. When a host passes nearby, the tick senses it and reaches out its legs to attach to the host's fur or clothing. The tick then embeds its mouth into the host's skin and begins feeding. While feeding, ticks can transmit a variety of infectious organisms to their hosts, thereby transmitting diseases, including Lyme disease and Rocky Mountain spotted fever. After engorging on the host's blood, the tick drops off and advances to its next life stage. Ticks have a four-stage life cycle, egg, larva, nymph, and adult. The larva and nymph require a blood meal to molt to the next stage. An adult requires a blood meal to mate and reproduce. A female tick can lay several thousand eggs. Ticks are slow feeders and remain on a host for several days. If you find a tick on your pet, remove it immediately to reduce the chance of contracting disease. Use tweezers to grasp the tick as close to the skin as possible. Pull upward gently, slowly, and firmly. Do not twist, jerk, or pull hard, or you may break off the mouth part, leaving it in the skin where it can cause infection. Be careful not to squeeze or crush the tick's body, as it may contain infectious organisms. Wash the bite area and apply an antiseptic. Then wash your hands with a disinfectant soap. Save the tick for identification in case your pet becomes ill. Place it in a sealable plastic bag in your freezer. Be sure to check your pet daily for ticks and ask your veterinarian about tick preventatives to help keep your pet safe.